This is the last time you're going oh. to be here with me uh, on true. this particular occasion for Prime Minister's Questions um, after your tenure as political editor of the BBC. And, of course, we've loved having you here. Um, it's been nearly seven years. I can't quite believe know, it's been either. that long. And so much has happened so in that time. Happened. I mean, I don't know if you can, we can rewind uh, briefly well, and the yeah. changing political landscape. Well, the week after I started the job, or about a fortnight after I began, Jeremy Corbyn won the Labour leadership for the first time, which sort of delighted a huge number of people who came into the Labour movement, appalled quite a lot of people in the Labour establishment, certainly surprised a lot mm. of them at what happened. Uh, <laughs> Where were you, Andrew, in that? <laughs> appalled, surprised? Or... <laughs> quite a lot of people in the middle have tried to make I the best of it, Andy I think. Burnham. Which, yeah. <laughs> Um, then, of course, the year after we had the referendum, which again completely upset the political mm. establishment, who hadn't seen what was coming, even though if you were outside the Westminster bubble, it was quite obvious outside the enthusiasm mm. was absolutely going the other way almost from the beginning of the campaign. Then the year after that, uh, we had a general election. Uh, then we had this sort of Brexit agonies with Theresa May trying to keep control of everything, but it was, you know, chaotic. And night after night after night, people kind of screaming to each other about fought Brexit. Fought out in this studio constantly. Yeah, fought out in this studio. And also, you know, on College Green, which for viewers who haven't been to oh, Westminster, yeah. is the big, the sort of park between where we sit here today and Parliament. Day after day, that was crammed with protesters from both sides screaming at each other, screaming at us, screaming at you, no doubt, as people were trying to uh, make things work. And uh, then Theresa May was eventually forced out. Then we had another general election. Um, <laughs> I'm exhausted Boris already. Boris Johnson, yes, yeah, so I'm a bit tired <laughs> after all of that. Um, and then, of course, as soon as Boris Johnson's yeah. massive majority was secure, he was, you know, at last in his achieving his ambition mm. of seeming like king of the world, then the pandemic came in. Within three months. Within three months. Um, and which he himself, shut the country of course, down, was Yeah, um, for nearly two years. And, and then, of course, now, as we've just been talking about, you know, war on continental Europe, which is something that way back in 2015, no one would have contemplated even looking at what happened in 2014 and what Vladimir Putin had been done then. So um, I suppose the beginning, a more benign time. Mm. And then a lot of chaos, a lot of turmoil. Um, but I also think an era, actually, when people have really engaged got into in politics. politics. Yeah, yes, you know, in, in a way. I know lots people of people have... said it turned them off uh, all the Brexit, mm. bit, but I think a lot of people did actually switch on to I think into politics in terms of the because debate. Because we've all been arguing, you guys have been arguing over massive questions, questions mm. of identity, uh, questions about Britain's place in the world. And, and also we've had... You know, people who like to style themselves as being on the outside of the political debate prospering. So whether that was Jeremy Corbyn or, you know, Boris Johnson, who, you know, claims somehow he's anti-elite, but that whole narrative around Brexit, the sort of trying to topple the elites. And also um, there was a sort of shaking of the foundations completely. of left and right and, totally. uh, you know, what uh, described Conservative and Labour. That's right. You know, the Tory party has been in power mm. that whole time. Mm. But my goodness, it's a very different Conservative Party. So, so much has happened. And the biggest thing probably is we're all wandering around with these things and oh. technology has changed how politics Never away from our uh, ears. I'm not so going to ask much. for any forecasts because I no, think no, that's no, a hostage to No, no, I gave up on that a long time ago. <laughs> Thank you very much to our guests. That's all we have time for. Bye-bye.